Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Excellence Crate plugin. Now this is an awesome plugin which allows you to create these custom crates which will give players a chance to win specific items and they are really cool. There's tons of different animations, there's keys and overall it's just a really complete and awesome crates plugin. So first of all, we're going to go through some examples here. These are the default ones, but obviously you can create more and edit them in the config file. And then we'll go through the commands and then check out the config afterwards. So the first one we're going to look at is the Emerald Crate. So if we left click, that's going to give you us a preview of everything that's inside it. And as you can see, it tells you the win amount limit, the win cooldown, and then the win chance. So each item is fully customizable with all that stuff. And if we right click, that is going to open it as long as we have a key. And as you can see, I've got multiple keys. So here is one of the animations. This one's pretty cool. It's going to slow down and eventually stop on one of the items. And let's see which one we get this time. We are going to get Ender Pearls. And as you can see, it's got in chat. We got 16 Ender Pearls from an Emerald Crate. And there they are. So here are the crate keys that we can use. Um, obviously, if you don't have the key, you will not be able to open the item. So Emerald Crate key, if I get rid of that, it will not allow me to open the crate. Then we have a golden crate, and this one has a slightly different animation, and you can customize which one you use for each crate, which is pretty awesome. But the same thing's gonna happen, it's gonna slow down, and we are going to get an item when it stops the animation, and there we go. Then we have a diamond crate, and this one is pretty interesting. There is no GUI, no animation. It literally just opens immediately as soon as you right click it. If we left click it, you can see the preview, this is one where you can win a specific rank. So obviously if your server had these ranks or whatever ones you chose, uh, players could get a higher rank by getting this crate. Finally, we've got a virtual crate, which obviously requires a virtual key. If we right click this, um, we do not have a key. And that actually brings us onto the commands. If you do forward slash crates or excellent crates, that is gonna show us all of the commands. Now, what we can do is give key, and then my username and then whichever one we want so there's four to choose from we're going to go for virtual and then maybe 20 of them now i'll be able to open this if i right click you can see it gives us an option of 27 crates and we can click three of them so click three at random and then it's going to flash and then this crate actually only gives us eggs so we're going to get panda squid and villager there we go and obviously we could do the same again click three at random and then you're going to get three more different egg types. So you can really see how customizable it is. So we've got pig, fox, and squid again. So those are the examples of the default ones that you can use. Obviously, if you wanted to give yourself a crate, it's crate give username the type of crate. So maybe diamonds and then the amount. That one's pretty straightforward. And then obviously what you can do, you can force open a crate with a specific player if, uh, if you want to do that for some reason, maybe they don't have a key. And let's do that to myself. And there we go, it's forced a crate open and I have got a silver rank from that, which is pretty cool. So next we're gonna create a brand new crate ourselves. And the way to do that is force us crates editor. This will bring up the GUI and in here you can create a brand new crate or create a brand new key. So let's create the key first of all. Once you're in here, it will show you all of the pre-existing ones that you've made up here. And then what you can do is click new key and then give it a name. We can just call it server miner. Once you've done that, you should be able to find it up here. There it is. It's not a virtual key. We can shift right click to delete. So if we want to delete this one, shift right click. And then for this one, if we want to edit the server miner key, we can left click it. And in here, you can change the inventory item if you wanted. Um, just a drag and drop to replace it. You can change it to virtual if you want and then display name You could also change that if you wanted, but I'm gonna leave it like that So that's the key created for the crates now Let's go ahead and create a new crate once again We've got all the previous ones up at the top I started to make one of my own earlier But if you want to create a new one click new crate give it a name. We're gonna call it server miner There we go and by default it is an ender chest so if we click it there's a ton of things in here we can edit so top right if you have citizens you can attach it to an npc if you have the holographic displays plugin you can have a hologram with it do you want it to be attached to various locations you can do that if you want down at the bottom you can delete it if you're not happy with it up at the top left you can toggle on various permissions so this would be permission uh, excellent crates.crate.serverminer so left click to toggle on 
Up at the top we've got the display name, obviously you could change that if you wanted. You've got the inventory item so you can drop and replace that. And then the open cooldown, how long does a player have to wait until they can open it again. So if we left click this it will give us um, the option to type in an amount of time, so 20 seconds. Then we've got the opening cost. Now if we left click we can change the monetary cost to $10 and if we right click how much XP is required, so 10 and 54. Over here you can change the effects, so at the moment there's a flame particle and it's a helix effect. Um, obviously you could toggle this to whatever you wanted. Then we've got the animations, so as we saw there are lots of different animations. If we click this it shows all the different ones here, let's do spin mystery and that is the current one we've got. And then reward manager, this is where you can create brand new rewards. So click new reward and then give it an identifier, I'm just going to call it 1 and it starts with a 25% chance to get it. So if we left click then we can set the reward. So you can set the display name and this one's going to be um, a money reward like so. And then the preview item you could obviously change this, just drag and drop that. You can change the win chance, so 50%. Reward items you could uh, add contents to this if you really wanted to and then reward commands now this is where you can give them either other items or money so if we left click this if we want to give them uh, money for example we want the console to do it so in square brackets put console and then whatever money plugin you have i have essentials we can do eco give player so use the placeholder uh, percentage player percentage to grab the player's name and then we'll just do a thousand dollars and that will set that like so then we've got broadcast, do we want it to be broadcast when a player wins? And then win limits, uh, do you want to set uh, an amount, yes or no, and a cooldown. You can also delete the reward if you're not happy with it. And there we go, that is how you would edit that. Obviously you could change the inventory item by just dragging and dropping. But that is how you would get one of your own. So crates give, LT gym, server miner, and then one of them. And then we could do the same for key. So we can do give key, if we spell it correctly, server miner and one. And let's see, are we going to be lucky today? Obviously it's not going to be that good as we only had one reward. I wonder what we're going to get. And there we go, we got a money reward and got a thousand dollars from opening that. Kel surprise. So another thing you can do is a forward slash crate keys and then a player's name and that is going to tell you how many keys they actually have and as you can see I have a metric ton which is pretty awesome. Another very cool thing is the a drop command so let's drop an emerald in this world and let's put in some random coordinates hopefully these coordinates are nearby and there we go there is the emerald crate we just dropped out of the sky and that could be a cool command you could have that happen every hour or a couple of times a day and players will be able to go to a location and find one of these crates. So that is pretty much everything in-game. You can see it works really well and the animations are very cool. Let's head over to the config file where we can actually customize all of this. So before we jump into the config file, I want to show you the wiki real quick. So the developers made this page with all of those plugins and then if you just find the one, so excellent crates in this example, and then you can go into the different folders, so you can look at commands here, which are all the ones we used in game, you can look at permissions, and then if you go down to configuration, you've got all the different config files, of which there's quite a few, and they give examples of how you can customize them and what they mean. Um, so if you do have any problems with configuring anything, this is the place to go. Back into the SM Picnic control panel, you can see there's actually quite a few folders and there's gonna be lots of files that you can edit. So we'll start in the animations, this is the folder with all the different animations that we saw in game so we got the chess one the csgo mystery rose 3 and then wonder so let's look at the csgo one for example so if we jump in here you can see it's got the type the menu so it says opening crates the contents um, and then the various timings it has so you don't really need to mess around with those at all you can use them in the chess that you create though so if we go back and then go into crates, you can see the four different types of crates that uh, exist already. So my recommendation would be just to copy and paste one of these, rename it, and then once you jump into it, you can customize it yourself. So right at the top, you can customize the animation. So just pick one of the ones we just looked at, 
and that will look pretty nice. And then down here you can add stuff like a cooldown, a money or XP cost for opening it. Then you want to obviously set the key, so if you create a new crate, obviously you create a new key to go with it. Um, and then if we scroll down, you can enable a hologram as well and make sure you change the text and effects. So it uses a villager happy particle effect, although you could look up the many, many other ones. And then you can get onto the rewards. So here is where you can set tons of different rewards. The first few is money. So the name is simply just money2500 and then you've got the name. And then down here, the command, that's where you want to obviously put it. And the console simply runs this command to give the player 2,500 bucks. Um, same thing for here. You've got the percentage chance, so 5%, 3%, 1.5%, 1 very, very small. And then you can also set win limits. So how many times can the player win this? And that's obviously useful if you've got one that gives out a rank. You obviously don't want to win the same rank twice. So you put a win limit on that. You can also set a cooldown for winning it um, after X amount of time. Scroll down and we got all the blocks. So you've got color code, so and a five times emerald block. You got 10% chance for that. No broadcast, no limit, and no cooldown. So that is how you would uh, change stuff in here. You can obviously delete these, add more. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the config.yml. So if we have a look in here, there's actually not too much. You could set up a MySQL database if you wanted. The language is currently English and the prefix is excellent crate. But down here, you can change the actions. So left was preview, right was open, but you could also change that to shift left and shift right uh, and set these two to null if you wanted. Um, but I like it the way it is. Then we have keys. So as I mentioned, if you create a new crate, you want to probably add a new key to go with it. So once you're here, you can just copy and paste one of these. Uh, material is obviously a tripwire hook. That doesn't change. Uh, then we've got the name and the law as well. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.18. If you want to access the wiki, click this documentation button here, and here are the various requirements. Next, Engine is an additional plugin that comes with it that you need to have on your server. And then here are the different features, and we can obviously scroll down, these are all the features we looked at, very, very cool and that is the plugin so if you want to download it head over here but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time